Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, the highly anticipated NVIDIA GeForce GTX something, possibly the GTX 1080, if rumors are to be believed, or whatever they wind up calling it, uh, the next generation of GPU to succeed the 900 series from NVIDIA seems to be looming very close now to bursting forth into the public eye proper. Now, historically, I don't bother making video content about rumors and stuff, but I don't know, maybe I should start. It can be fun to speculate, and it's kind of easy to sort of speculate and make up a bunch of what-if stuff about rumors and whatnot, and have a bit of a chinwag about what we hope might be and all that kind of stuff. But whatever, there's actually one legitimate real-world reason why I'm talking about this particular rumor, and we'll get into that in a moment. Rumor first. So various tech and PC gaming blogs and such have been regurgitating a report published on some blog I've never heard of called Benchlife.info. It claims to have some information about the next big thing graphics card wise that Nvidia are doing. They seem to think it'll be called the GTX 1080, which despite taking the positioning of a high end enthusiast card like the GTX 980 when it launched, uh, and it would seem logical to call it the 1080, 980, 1080. It's numerically sensible, isn't it? But considering the number 1080 in graphics and gaming already refers generally to the common HD resolution, and considering this first new card in the new line will be a high-end powerhouse targeted at people interested in running 1440p and 4K, and the various high resolutions needed for VR headsets and the like, which are all above 1080, I feel like it'd be a bit odd to call their high-end card 1080. Wouldn't it make people think, well, it's a 1080 card, it should be for use for 1080 gaming, I want more than that, um... But whatever, if the ridiculously out-of-touch and awkward marketing teams from Microsoft can call their third Xbox the Xbox One, and more or less get away with it in the marketplace somehow, I suppose the much more savvy marketing dorks at NVIDIA can make a GTX 1080 mean 4K gaming. Why not? And maybe I'm just getting stuck on a thought here. We should try and move on. What do you guys think they should call it? GTX 1080 or something else? GTX Super or GTX X? Or, uh, I don't know. Naming things is hard. <laughs> Moving on, the article claims that the new generation of NVIDIA GPU, codenamed Pascal Degree, will be making its debut in May after being officially announced at GTC, the GPU Technology Conference, in the second week of April. The GTC, which NVIDIA had been running annually since 2009, by the way, has been the event of note for many important product announcements, including the Titan X last year, of course. Woof. And although the super duper new memory technology HBM2 has has been developing parallel to the Pascal architecture, and pretty much everyone thought that any Pascal card would have HBM2 on it. This article at least claims that the GTX 1080, or whatever, will remain with the existing, and frankly more cost-effective, and proven GDDR5, or possibly the high-capacity GDDR5X memory, and the capacity is said to be 8 gigabytes, with the higher-end models, the um, Titan and TI equivalents, or whatever they wind up being called, they will be the ones moving to HBM2. The other details of note include the card having just a single 8-pin PCIe power connector, which hints at the expected advances in power efficiency. And better power efficiency also means it should run nice and cool. We know I love that about my NVIDIA cards. Also stated is it'll have two DisplayPort connectors, one HDMI, one DVI. Nothing too life-changing there. But the reason any of this is relevant to what I am doing is the fact that NVIDIA are actually dragging my nerdy ass over to Silicon Valley to take a look at all this spectacularly clever stuff stuff there, nerds are inventing at this year's GTC. That would be the event where this rumoured announcement is rumoured to take place, by the way, guys, in case you missed that little detail. But anyway, at the GTC, I'll get opportunities to learn about some really cool stuff like deep learning and artificial intelligence, space and aeronautic stuff, self-driving cars, which NVIDIA are doing a lot of things with. Really interesting. I need to dive into that, check all that out. Robots, of course, image processing, virtual reality, augmented reality, media and entertainment, which I have an interest in, of course, because I make media and entertainment, don't I, technically? I mean, it's not very sophisticated what I do, but still... <laughs> <laughs> and of course, video games and game development, which we all know around here I have a deep interest in. Now, seeing as much of the nerd stuff that I do in my YouTube existence, especially when looking at NVIDIA products, is in very near Earth orbit of a thing we call gaming, it's not too much of a stretch now, is it? That NVIDIA asking for my attendance means it's not unlikely that NVIDIA want people like me around because we're going to be very excited to hear about, I don't know, new graphics card stuff? Now, to be very clear, I don't have any inside information. I'm not trying to hint or leak at anything. I don't know if 
or what or when or even the how of any new GPU stuff, but as I'm going to be within the presumably green-hued walls of the GPU Technology Conference in just under three weeks' time, now it would seem is when you guys should probably throw questions, ideas, requests and the like at me about the kind of stuff you want me to collect information on and make videos about while I'm there. What are you interested in? What should I spend my time focusing on most? Is it just about gaming? You want to know about VR? Self-driving cars? So, boom! Exciting rumors and news of my latest travel adventures to to collect more interesting video stuff for you guys to argue about in my comment sections all coming to you right now so please do the thing in my down below area where you type and fiddle and click and poke and stuff like that but that is it for this kind of weird and rambly rumor laden and travel news kind of video thing my bob doodler <laughs> i am blunty and i will catch you again next time